The iconic Aston Martin rings have had a growing presence in Formula 1 over the last few seasons, but they will be front and center for the first time in 60 years this season with their very own works outfit. But what can we expect from the green machines? Aston Martin were exploring a return to Formula 1 around 7 years ago. The British car maker keen to use their presence in the sport to take the fight to sports car rivals McLaren and Ferrari on the racing track as well as off it. They came close to a technical relationship with Force India in 2015 before ultimately entering as a title sponsor and technical partner with Red Bull Racing. It was a relationship that proved a success yielding the Valkyrie hypercar as well as increased exposure for the brand. But the dream of returning as a works outfit for the first time since 1960 remained when Lawrence Stroll led a consortium to buy Aston Martin having already done the same to rescue the Force India F1 team the perfect storm was created. The goals, as you might expect, remain the same, to beat their rivals who are also competitors in the road car world, and to strengthen the Aston Martin brand around the globe, with Stroll having made a habit of investing in companies and turning them around, particularly in the fashion industry, they are in promising shape to make good on those aims. Force India made a name for themselves as a ruthlessly efficient little racing team that could maximize resources and regularly punch above their weight. Their two fourth places in 2016 and 2017 after fifth and two sixths are testament to that. Technical chief Andrew Green is highly rated in the paddock and has been responsible for the succession of cars that saw Force India make progress year on year. His ability to make a solid race car with very little cash will be a large part of his legacy, but it was clear there was frustration when he and his technical team had developments that would add lap time but not the funds with which to produce them. So the theory is that now the shackles have been released with resources available not only to improve the technical capabilities which includes building a new factory and recruit more people, they will also have the funds to aggressively develop over the winter and through the season to allow them to compete. Stroh supported the leadership team, listened to their expertise and then applied his business values and he hasn't yet set outlandish targets either instead of accepting that it was a long-term aim to become one of greatest teams in the paddock knowing that the 2022 sweeping regulation changes offer opportunity. Stroll still demands results, it's why he's been so successful in his many businesses, so constant progress is required. To grow quickly and scale up is no easy feat. But Aston Martin, whose operation has its roots in the 30-year-old Jordan team, do have the advantage of having room to grow and refine their outfit, whereas the teams they are chasing are having to slash their budgets dramatically because of the cost cap, and thus will have to learn to operate at the same level with less. They can also take confidence from a strong 2020 campaign which, despite not yielding the third place in the Constructors' Championship their package deserved, did see them finish a solid fourth as well as securing their first victory as racing point as well as three further podiums was a fine performance. With their regulations reasonably stable from last year to this one, Aston Martin's target will be to reach the podium more consistently. Their car will continue to bear a striking resemblance to the all-conquering Mercedes as they continue to take multiple parts from the world champions including the engine, gearbox and brake ducts so such a target should be achievable. But it is 2022 where Aston Martin can really make a step forward. The second year of a budget cap plus all new technical regulations offers opportunities for all which is why Lawrence Stroll's ambitions of the world title aren't so outlandish. Aston Martin revealed one of the most intriguing lineups in 2021 with the youngster fighting to prove he belongs and a veteran four-time world champion wanting to show he's not done yet. Lance Stroll has struggled to earn respect for his achievements courtesy of being the son of a billionaire and the team's owner, but on track, he made gains last year taking his first pole position and leading a Grand Prix comfortably for 32 laps before a broken front wing undid his charge while also securing two further podiums. Aston Martin will hope he will continue to grow and harness his speed to improve his consistency with Sebastian Vettel's presence an opportunity for him to learn from one of F1's most successful drivers. In Vettel, they get a driver who is hungry to show that Ferrari made a mistake letting him go. When he left Red Bull for Ferrari, we saw an immediate bounce after a lull. 
it would be wise to think the same will happen with his move to Aston Martin. The German will have a team eager to make the most of his champion qualities as they look to move from establishing themselves as one of F1's most efficient teams to a top team as team principal Otmar Safnauer puts it. Anyways, now it's time for meme of the day and here it is. And that's been it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Apart from that, I hope you're an awesome day and um, bye bye.